There we are. Hey, hey everybody, welcome to Tank on Tuesday. We're doing an on the water live episode here today. Uh, I've got my dad with me. And before we get started, this is Tank on Tuesday. Every Tuesday we're going to be going live giving product demo demonstrations. Um, today we actually have a product that we made Saturday morning. Uh, we had made a uh, funny bone that was customized on the Echo Teal Corner Store. If you check out our playlist, you'll actually see me making that live. But this is the Echo Teal Funny Bone. And this is a 3 8 ounce. And we're going to give this away. Every single time we customize one of our baits, we're going to give it away. And Saturday mornings, it may be uh, us tying... Uh, some customized baits on the Echo Teal Corner Store uh, along with the Q&A as we're customizing our product line and showing you how to do it yourself. Uh, and uh, following Tuesday we're gonna we're gonna give it away and all you have to do is comment on one of our postings either in this one or the uh, previous post from uh, the Echo Teal Corner Store on Saturday and uh, give us a thumbs up and uh, Give us a little, uh, give us a little love out there. Share and make sure to hit the bell. That way you're notified every single time that we are going live. We're going to try to do this at 12:30 every day, but you know what? Life gets in the way, and sometimes we just can't stick to the schedule. But if you go to the Echo Tail um, Travel Angler Chatter Report every single Monday, we have a calendar in there on our scheduled posting. So check that out. Uh, thank you everybody for uh, watching this. We're going to get going um, on showing you what this new contraption is that we have attached to a six ounce funny bone that's right a six ounce funny bone dad he's got the six ounce funny bone right here and i want to be very clear dad if you could hold this camera up just like this i want to get kind of out of the wind here so that they can actually hear me it is windy here so come a little closer dad um i want to make it a very clear uh understanding of uh, our product line and the distinctions between what we have um, because it does look similar but every single product like the echo tail funny bone the dynamics of the lure are completely different than the original echo tail blade bait with the interchangeable tail so what separates this is it is actually got a curved body so when we say funny bone we're talking about the models that have the bend in it and the reason it has the bend in it is because it offers another type of technique to utilize this versatile product line this echo tail system now we call it to be used as a casting spoon or a casting jerk bait or you can use it as a spinner bait with this nifty interchangeable spinner bait attachment that we have and you can still utilize this by attaching to your holes up on top and it still functions as a blade bait, okay? Like the Echo Tail, but it has a different action when you snap it up. It still vibrates, but it falls differently, it vibrates differently, it completely has a different type of um, vibration harmonic, we call it, uh, in the water. So. Uh, with that being said, I wanted to give a demonstration of what this looks like with the spinnerbait attachment to it. This is a four-in-one lure, so you're getting uh, quite, quite, a, quite a deal, quite a package with uh, options with this particular model. Okay. Uh, you got the uh, split ring players? Yeah. Now this here you can actually see this is a smaller model in the same color scheme or almost in the what I call walleye-ish. Now this, this model here, 
as mentioned, is a six ounce funny bone. Okay, and the six ounce model, even though it weighs six ounces, now today's actually a pretty good example. It's fairly windy out here. You can't tell. It's probably probably better than I can. Probably because of the audio that's poor, but it is very windy out here today. Uh, but with six ounces of uh, metal, there really isn't an issue with uh, casting into the wind, which is a huge upper advantage, especially to shore fishermen that want to be able to get out and reach those fish a long distance. So, um, but really quick to go through the specs, we have a, a positioned a hook up here. This is very versatile. If you feel like that hook needs to be somewhere else or a different style of hook, there's many holes to choose from. Um, it's You can see about how long it is. So it goes from head to tail about from my middle of my wrist uh, to my middle finger about a, a 10 to 12 inches depending upon how you know you look at it if, if that tail is uh, extended out or not but um, it really though it weighs six ounces it doesn't feel like it in the water it glides pretty nice There's the open, uh, clear. there's open spot on the end down there, Justin. Uh, oh, is there down yeah, here? Yeah, yeah. So you can jig it and well, put it around. The of this looks like. Right, all the way down. All the way down. Yeah. See, so the water came down here. Quite a bit now because of that. I we're out here. Should be able. This is a good spot right in here. Let's go back. Okay. So if you see, you have a couple things going on here. You have the rocking back and forth of the funny bone, and you have that it's a number 10 blade on an extra heavy, um, it's on an extra heavy wire harness designed to handle a heavier model such as this six ounce model. But can see how you get the wobble and the, the, the 10, the number 10 Colorado blade offers a nice thump to it and you see how that, that body really has nice rocking motion and that's one of the unique things about this as a spinnerbait is the body actually has a profile to it. Um, which is very unique in a spinnerbait world for, for larger pike and muskie. Um, so that truly is um, kind of the uniqueness that this offers along with that action. So let me show you what this looks like again. And then the Colorado blade allows the bait to stay higher in the water column. Because anytime you use a Colorado blade, it's going to create lift. I'm just going to cast it out. See how, I mean, I'm literally keeping this right above the, the weed top. Now, the advantage to having six ounces is that not only can you fish it shallow, you can cast this out and keep it very, very deep and slow roll it very, very deep. So um, that's the six ounce model. If you're watching right now, this is tanked on Tuesdays. Every single Tuesday, we're going to show you what our product line looks like in the water, from on the water to the in studio jig tank. Now I've got this on an ice fishing rod, but there, there's a we call this color here. This is our yellow pollen. Now this, this, is, this model here is on a number, is on a number eight plane, and you can see this model is much, it's got a smaller profile, okay? Really good, this is a four ounce, it's also available on a two and a half and a one and a half ounce. And the six ounce that you just seen with the previous demonstration. How that really does I mean it's got a tremendous amount of action and it's profile it's actually a body profile 
And the really cool thing is that the, the back of this normally has got the barb, which is still there, but you can tip this off with lots of different plastics. If you wanted to take these, these skirts are attached by nothing more than a rubber gasket that we have available. You just push them on. You can interchange the skirts. It's on the fly. Uh, we did take and run a zip tie just to kind of secure it a little better. Um, it is that time of season where we're, we are chasing pike and muskies, and uh, we want to not have to interchange the uh, the skirts if we got something working because you get short windows this time of year, and we don't want to be messing around once they start biting. So, want to be able to repeat that pattern immediately to catch more fish. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you. You know what? Let's use this. Let's use this model here. What I want to do is demonstrate what the product looks like without the spinner bait. Okay, so this is going to be. I'm going to show the first first thing I'm going to do here is show you what it looks like being connected to the nose hole and utilized as a like a spoon or a jerk bait, glide bait. We call it. The funny bone and it is a new category of lure that we call the splide s-b-l-i-d-e bait slide bait s for the spoon b for the blade bait and i the i part because it glides so it rhymes with glide I. there we go so i'm just going to remove that <laughs> and i probably should have brought some snaps with me today because of the fact that it would have been quicker to give these demonstrations so I don't have people waiting on me at lunch. Because every single Tuesday we are tanked on Tuesday. And actually you know what this is kind of a cool little might as well show you how I'm doing this too. This is nothing more than an overhand knot. So most of the times we recommend using a snap, but all I'm doing here is I'm using an overhand knot. You can throw a couple of them in there if you want, but this will easily allows us to be able to interchange the bait and have two different points of contact for a little more stability. I would not recommend using this with a large model, but um, it does allow you to kind of change. It's a kind of a, a quick way to without if you don't have a snap and uh, it also the other advantage that this actually has trying to imitate bait fish and you want to keep all the hardware away this system is fluorocarbon and that way it looks like you can present it looking a little more natural so I'm gonna get this cleaned up Yellow pollen, four ounce yellow pollen. And you can tune the action of these two. Look at that. This thing was this was the one that got hit. Even my even my kids, seven and eight year olds, were getting getting strikes on this thing when we were doing our or filming our family fish travel and paddle section on YouTube, our vlog. They were getting That is without the spinner bait. I'm getting low on a battery here, so I'm going to probably have to kind of shorten this up. Uh, but I'm going to show you what this looks like if you use it as a jerk bait. See how this thing glides backward? That is why this thing produced so many fish up in Canada over this year. Specifically, pike. What are you using either steel leader or a very simple piece of floral carbon? But, looks like um, being jigged. I'm going to have to kind of hurry this up because um, 
because of the fact that um, losing the battery power today. you could actually take and connect another hook right here but this is a cool like I mentioned earlier utilizing the funny bone as another approach to fishing the echo tail as a blade bait offers a completely different action than what the straight original echo tail model does or has this up for those of you that uh, maybe you just be tuning in right now make sure you check out the uh, episode the live feed that we ran this past Saturday in that feed you're gonna see as I customize in the echo tail corner store live um, I built a custom 3 8 ounce model and by simply engaging into our live feed here today you will have an opportunity to win that as seen on the Echo Teal Corner Store. All right, now we're going to jig this. See all that has a different type of action and then it falls. And when it falls, it falls. What's unique about it is it falls literally on its side, which offers profile. literally just kind of dance this thing around and it looks like a dying bait fish which is really cool and it's got good vibration to it as well and the different holes the series of holes on the top allows you to being able to get different vibrations um, I think that pretty much wraps up what I wanted to show um, I'm gonna get that model that I that I uh, showed or tied up on Saturday on the Echo Tail Corner Store this is the one that we're giving away I'll be back here this is what we tied up this is what we're giving away as seen on the echo tail corner store giving a demo of it and this is the funny bone in a three ounce model and what we did was we tied the marabou and my large tipped it off to the junior big tail great option for ice fishing if you're in the ice fishing and the hook placement that I had I run a a split kind of like a limerick hook and it's position you can play around with the hook position which is really neat with these limerick hooks but you can see you can run a hook up on top here if you wanted to but this is like a, a top plated spoon which is very unique but if you watch to see how this thing dances I'm just going to keep this up high I mean this thing has a tremendous amount of action on the fall the marabou and the tail the junior jig tail that we kicked it off with they really kind of complement one another. So that's, see all that kind of falls head first, offering the profile from fish watching below as they feed up. And I'll tell you what, if I was a walleye or a perch, a bass, a crappie, white bass, I think I'd be able to see. I'm almost hesitant. liked our live feed here at Tanked on Tuesday and uh, tomorrow on Wednesday every single Wednesday we'll have an upload tomorrow we're going to finish off part two of the uh, travel how to travel after work and uh, I'm going to go through my travel bag and I'm going to be showing you the tackle that I'm going to make sure that I stay after work thank you for watching stay tuned
too.